In this video, you'll learn how to create an Active Campaign drip campaign step by step. Plus, we'll share with you a feature inside Active Campaign that'll help you save a ton of time when you go to build this out. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make Active Campaign even better for your base businesses. Let's check it out. Now, before we get started with how to create an Active Campaign drip campaign, let's go over what a drip sequence is as well as Active Campaign Recipes, which is the special feature I mentioned that'll help you save a ton of time. So first, a drip sequence is an automated series of emails uh, designed to help contacts know, like, and trust you or your brand over a specified period of time and at predetermined intervals all on autopilot. So you're gonna be sending out, dripping out content over time, uh, a time period that you determine and with intervals that you determine, uh, sending out emails with content to achieve that goal. And it might sound like you have to start from scratch and you build this all out, but we can actually use a feature called recipes inside Active Campaign. And these are basic templates to use as starting points that you can quickly import into your account and then customize from there. So I'll first show you how to go about building this from scratch, and then I'll show you how you can save time using Active Campaign recipes. So if we dive right into our Active Campaign account, over here in the left, we can go to automations, and I'm going to create a new automation in the top right. Here's where you can find all of the recipes. I'll show you that right after I go through this from scratch. So we're gonna choose start from scratch, hit continue. And from here, you have to select a trigger. Typically, we are going to trigger whenever a tag is added. So this could be a tag for someone uh, choosing to opt into a form, uh, opting in to download a lead magnet, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose tag is added. The reason we're choosing tag is added over subscribes to a list is because at Wildmail, we use one main list we do all of our segmentation using tags. You can check out this video here to learn more about that. Now, I'm gonna click tag is added. So we could say lead, and we'll just choose one of these here, lead RF. We'll have it run just once, and then hit start. And now our sending options. So typically you wanna send the first email immediately. We can call this email one, test. You can choose to start with a template or start from scratch, or you can use a past campaign if you have one. I'm just going to choose save and design later, but you're going to have to remember to come back and customize this initial email. If you're delivering a lead magnet, make sure to include the link there. So we're going to hit save and design later. And you can see here, they're already giving you suggested actions to create your drip campaign. So we've got wait for seven days, wait for seven days and check if the email was opened, wait for seven days and send email. In a typical drip sequence, you're not going to wait that long. So what we can do is hit the plus, conditions and workflow, wait, and then you get to choose the intervals between each email. So let's just say we want to send one every day. Wait for one day, hit save. We can go back in, hit the plus, sending options, send an email, we can call this email to test. Again, you can start with a template or start from scratch or use a past campaign that you already have. I'm just gonna say save and design later. We'll have to remember to come back to that. And you can see here, we're starting to build out this drip sequence where someone opts in, they receive their first email, the next day they receive another email and so on. Now to create this easily from a recipe inside Active Campaign, I'm gonna show you back in automations and I'm going to go to create an automation. And here we are in the recipes. So if I go to search recipes and I say drip, we've got multiple drip series, okay, for different industries, etc. But I'm just going to choose this one here for any industry from Active Campaign, the seven day drip series. Click it and hit continue. And the automation setup wizard is actually going to walk you through step by step how to build out this drip sequence. So I'll hit get started. And you can see here, if you aren't using a list based approach, which we do not, we use a tag based approach, you can change this trigger so that automation begins when a form is submitted or tag is applied. All right, for this case, we'll just say someone gets added to the main list for an example. And if you click into the notes here, there are going to be instructions for each step. It also gives suggestions as to what you should include for your content. 
Okay, it discusses setting expectations. In day two, you can see here, this message might be the first of a series of educational lessons, a countdown to an announcement, or part of an onboarding sequence. We've often used an onboarding sequence as well as educational lessons to help people get the most value out of whatever they've opted into. And now you can see that you have this entire seven day sequence and you can go in and adjust the wait times yourself. If you don't want it to be uh, one day in between each, you can choose your intervals yourself. Click into the emails. You can see this final day call to action. Uh, go ahead and hit edit and adjust each of these emails. So if we go back here, automations, set up the trigger, send the initial email, and then use the wait action steps to drip the content out at predetermined intervals that you choose, or you can use active campaign recipes, which I've just shown you here, and then adjust this. Now I want to give you two bonus tips for improving your drip campaigns. And the first is frequency selectors. Frequency selectors allow a user to choose when they want to receive the next email in a drip sequence. So they can choose to receive it immediately by clicking a link and getting a tag, which triggers an automation to send the next email, or they can choose to do nothing and wait for the next email to be delivered. We have another tutorial on that in our marketing automation playlist. And then the second bonus is dynamic and conditional content. So if you're really trying to build authentic relationships with your audience, you should be collecting some kind of information at the top of your funnel when someone opts in. You should at least know that they've opted in for a specific lead magnet, uh, separating your lead magnets and your funnels by industry, interest, et cetera. There are multiple ways that you can segment your contacts coming in to your active campaign account. So what you can do when someone opts into a drip sequence is show conditional content or content based on those tags that they've received based on the responses to your questions uh, when they filled out a form. So for example, we're not going to speak to a SaaS business owner the same way that we would speak to a service business owner, the same way that we would speak to an e-com shop owner in our drip sequence. All right, this might be an onboarding sequence, a nurture sequence, a sales sequence. All of that can have hyper-personalized content that you are showing uh, based on someone's interest, based on information that this contact has given you already further up in the funnel. And you can trigger that based off of tags. And we have another video right here to show you how to set that up in your active campaign drip campaign. So if you have any questions at all about how to build out a drip campaign inside active campaign, just drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you out.